If they got Alden Smith, what do you think the odds that they could go after Antonio Brown would be? All right, that's what we're thinking. We're going to call this the Six Chance Squad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pretty good. Antonio Brown's going to see Alden Smith get signed, though, and get very excited. Yeah. Because he's on his phone. He's calling God. He's like, do you hear? <laughs> they just signed that guy. Uh, Travis in Ohio, what's up, bub? No. Travis. Tra- Travis. He said he was ah, gentlemen, Mary Super Special, State of the Union Show, Town Hall, Feel Good Friday, Phone Extravaganza Day. I hey, love what you did there, Travis. We were debating on whether it, it was a merry holiday or a happy holiday. I'm happy you went with Mary so we could hear that one time for the good time. Um, so my uh, ideal scenario is a lifelong Bengals fan. Oh. The Bengals pick up Cam Newton to start with. That frees up your number one pick. Take Chase Young from Ohio State. Mm. Then you sign Antonio Brown. That puts Antonio Brown on one side, A.J. Green on the other side, and Cam Newton slanging the rock to both of them. Travis just fixed the Cincinnati (laughs) Bungles. Because you get a a once-in-a-generation potential player in Chase Young, which is what everybody's calling on the defense side of the ball. Cam Newton, a quarterback. Antonio Brown and A.J. Green on the outside. Are the Bengals all of a sudden the favorite in the AFC North? Nobody knows what the Browns are going to do. Big Ben's back, but is he really? He's he's training for the first time in the history of an offseason. That might not be good, by the way. And the Baltimore Ravens lost Marshall Yonda. Did that guy just fix the Cincinnati Bengals? He did. And because that makes too much sense, there's zero chance the Bungles do that. <laughs> zero chance. That'd be wild, though. That would be absolutely wild if they bring. Why not, by the way? Bengals, I mean, they had perfect for years. Might as well bring AB in. What if Cam Newton says, nah? I'll play anywhere the Cincinnati Bengals, but Cincinnati. The Detroit Lions, but Detroit. <laughs> I'll play for the Houston Roughnecks. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think Cam Newton. That'd be because Cincinnati, the Bengals have diehard fans. Yeah. Nobody knows why. No, nobody knows why. The people of Cincinnati, who they, who they, who they say gonna beat them Bengals? Who they? And a lot of people did. Yeah. A lot of people said it, and a lot of we people did. did it. We they. They used to say. Now it's just expected. They don't even say who they anymore. Mm-mm. They say who's next. Who's next? Who's next to beat the Bengals? <laughs> I think they're going to do it. They bring in Cam Newton. That's electric. Now, I think Andy Dalton's still a good player, by the way. You have Andy Dalton, maybe Antonio Brown, A.J. Green. Mm-hmm. Maybe that'll help out the kid. Maybe that'll help out the ginger from TCU. Would you rather have Cam Newton or uh, Joe Burrow? Me? Don't, don't say it. Say it. Don't say it. Say it. I'd rather have Joe Burrow's contract <laughs> for Cam Newton. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I say that? Yeah, you can. I like Joe Burrow. But I think Cam Newton is on a revenge body type run right now. You want to get that when you can get that because it's not going to happen all the time. 